Okay guys, we are at the Nankai bus terminal. As you can see, lots of tuk-tuks. Some low if you want to be like that. They're not technically a tuk-tuk, I know that. Uh, I had to pay for parking here. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I got out of my truck and parked on the other end. She's walking away from the truck and the lady walks over and says, 10 baht. Gotta pay. Gotta pay to park here. So I don't know if that's a Nankai thing, a bus terminal thing. It's been a long time since I've had to pay for parking anywhere. I can't even remember the last time. Not in Thailand. Not since, well, Pattaya, there's lots of places. But uh, yeah, different. All right, let's go take a look around. It's a busy place. Uh, I just walked through it. It's different, totally different than any other bus station in a way. It's the same idea, but as you can see, there's no inside part. It's all wide open. No shortage of taxis. Uh, Tuk-tuks, motorbikes. Uh, meter taxis. The ticket counters. They all have the little booths. There's some very old. There's the taxi drivers having lunch. Some very very old buses down here. It's uh, not very busy, but there's a ton of buses. I'll show you from the back. Oh, let's go now, this side. Look at all these buses. I parked down there. Pay to play. <laughs> and buses on the other side as well, some old ones. This is about middle of the road on quality. This blue one here is going to Bangkok. That's a long run from here. That's for sure. That's a long ways away. Hello. There's a guy down here, the guy with the orange shirt. He wanted me to come sit with him when I walked by the first time. Not much food, huh? You see that? Hello. What? What do you need? Hello. Are you okay? Yeah, you want to be in my video? Yeah. Where are you from? From Canada. Where are you from? I'm from Vietnam. Vietnam? What are you doing in Thailand? Uh, I come to uh, Bangkok for work. Oh, for work? Yeah. Now? Uh, today I want to uh, come to Bangkok, but uh, I lost man, lost shoe, lost clothes, <laughs> lost money. Oh no! Yeah. So, so, so everything. I want to say, uh, say with you, happy uh, money come to Bangkok tickets. I, to I can't, how much for a ticket to Bangkok? Um, 300 baht. 300 happy, I lose two though. And you, you, only, you, only stitch one. <laughs> but, <laughs> leave me, if I lost his shoes. Yeah. Happy, no? Where's the ticket? Uh, tickets. Okay, let's go, bye. Bye bye. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. Check this out. I got the guy his ticket. 450 baht for the ticket. And I gave him 50 baht for uh, get something to eat. I have to say, the Thai people were trying to buy a plane ticket here, or buy a bus ticket here, they were assholes, straight up. Maybe, uh, they're tired of M trying to bum a ticket and whatever he was up to, but they were not very nice. Very, very disappointing and not impressed with the Thai people, that's for sure. So we helped uh, Mr. Vietnam and get him to Bangkok to get his job. And if that's his story, he's got, he's got the ticket. I didn't give him cash, I bought the ticket and I gave him. 50 baht change so he can uh, get something to eat. Being a nice guy. 
That's a lot of luck sitting right there. I think they need it. Wow. Amazing this even starts. <laughs> uh, if you look right over there, just a mountain of garbage. I don't know if that's just this bus station or not, but there's a couple things that I'm not impressed with here. One, how rude these people selling tickets are. Unbelievable. Just straight up asses. I couldn't believe it. Uh, garbage everywhere. And uh, I had to pay for parking. What is with that? Not much food around here, you know? There's some, it there looks like there's a big market right there. But nobody here selling food, that's very strange. This guy's ticket, yeah, five o'clock, 520 or something like that. So that's not too bad, it's only a couple hour wait. <laughs> Lost everything, even his shoes. All he's all he's got left is uh, his passport, which looks like it's been in a washing machine, and a pair of shoes. Some fair cheap flip flop someone gave him. I don't know how true his story is, but you know, help a guy out. It's me being nice. You know, I say that all the time. Go make somebody else's day better, you know? Open a door for an old lady or, you know, little things make people day better. That 500 baht, what's that, $15? Yeah, well, you can do a lot with $15 around here. Like get a ride to Bangkok, which is a, a hell of a, this lady here. Whew. Wow. Yeah. I don't know how long a ride it is on a bus. He won't be there before daylight, that's for sure. Now, now I know why he was in such a rush to talk to me. Yeah, not impressed with the, the ticket sellers. I don't know if they're normally like this or not. I would hope not. Or maybe it was just him. Just being a pain all day, trying to get a ride out of here. Don't know where he went now. It's leaving me alone anyway. All right, guys, that's it. Not a very impressive bus station, bus terminal, but a lot of buses. Wow. A lot of unhappy people and a lot of garbage. Lots of buses, or vans, sorry. That's pretty normal now. Lots of vans in these places. Here's one coming out. Don't want to get run over. Udon to Nankai. That's less than an hour. And the old butt bus, they're everywhere. <laughs> Hope that guy don't lose his ticket. As always, guys. Thanks for watching. I found him. He's doing the right thing. He's getting some food. <laughs> He's getting some food. Cheap food, too, so that's good. And he said thank you again. He's a very happy man right now.